Hi, this is Luang from Mac Test Repeat and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you my air monitor unit. This is the final design with a lot of changes compared to the previous one here. First of all, the display. This unit uses a 2.2 LCD compared to the 0.96 inch OLED on the previous version. It will have more space for all the information and more intuitive with all of the colors. For example, you can see when I cover the SGB30 here, the level of the CO2 and the TVOC will go high and the text color will change from green for good to yellow, medium and red when it passes the risk level. The next one is about sensors. I use the particle concentration sensor PMS 5003ST of Plant Tower. You can get it from AliExpress. The standard one is PMS 5003 is very popular for PM 2.5. This version I got can also measure the formaldehyde level as well as temperatures and relative humidity so I can remove the SHT31 to simplify my circuit. I kept the SGB30 for volatile organic compound measurement. In case you want to learn more about those sensors and their performance, you can check on my video here. Next one is about casing. I redesigned the whole case and I packed everything in it with a lot of cuts for better air circulation. I will provide the SDL file so you can print it if you want to make one. The last one is about PCP. The PCB is redesigned in KiCad, and I would like to thank PCBWay for sponsoring it. From KiCad, you can use the PCBWay plugin. It will send you directly to the PCBWay instant code. From that page, you can set all the parameters that you like. For example, I choose the color purple because it's my favorite color. And then you can choose the shipping method and uh, just that, wait for your ball to arrive. Those are important improvements. Now let's have a closer look. Here is the PCB when I received it from PCB Way. It is the spine of the unit where I connected all of the sensors, microcontrollers and display together. The first thing is to solder all of the socket and header for all of the components. Next you can mount the microcontroller the LCD, I, I make some uh, support for it to the PCB and then you can fasten that PCB to the front case using screws like you see here. The sensor PMS 5003ST and the SGB30 are mounted on the back case using screw like you can see and then you can mount them on together. When it's done, you should need to add the power and the unit will be on. The first 15 seconds is for initializing the SGB30 and then all the parameters are displayed on the LCD screen and there you go. I keep the unit running in my office so I can keep track of my working environment. I also run an air purifier whenever the CO2 level goes high, usually at night. I'm happy with this project and here are some notes about it. Cost-wise, as you can see, the new version costs a lot more because of the PMS 5003ST sensor. The price is 85.5 for main components only for the version V3 compared to 13.25 of version 2 that is for the particular matter and format the high function. You can reduce the cost by using the PMS 5003 and the HHT31 together and the cost will be reduced to around $57 which is for version 2.5 that I call it here. You will still be able to measure the particular matter and the temperatures and the humidity. The only thing you miss is the formant the high level. Actually, you will only need that if you have a 3D printer running around you. 
for normal air monitor the v2 or v2.5 should be enough i would add another co sensor in the future as well as a gas sensor because i have a gas furnace running the beauty of this new pcp is that i can add more sensor if i need it there are two i swear she pause there for you to use i saw people using the esp32 um, so that they can use the internet of thing to check it online but i refer the rp2040 and i don't need the wi-fi function for now i need something to put in my office and i can check the values every now and then so that's it all about this project i hope you enjoy the video I will upload the code and the design on Instructable in case you like to get one. Happy making!